turns out there's a whole world of mushrooms I had no idea about. Hey everybody, I'm Danny, engineer and maker here at First Build. Some of you might know you can grow mushrooms at home. I personally have been really excited to kind of dive in. Today we're gonna to be walking through our first prototype of our indoor mushroom grower. Check it out. So this thing controls light and airflow and humidity to make sure that your mushrooms are always happy in their little environment. You have to be able to control your environment when you want to fruit your mushrooms, which is what these guys are doing right now. You can see they're starting to bud and they're starting to flower. The environmental conditions have to be just right or else you can uh, mess up the results. And actually, these results aren't the best. <laughs> uh, we still need to do a bit of tweaking to get these guys to fully fruit properly. Cool thing about this thing is this actually has a computer that's monitoring the humidity, the temperature, how much light is being output, the fan speeds, it's controlling everything. And this lets us finely tune all the parameters to make sure that our mushrooms are growing the right way. We, we built all the components here, so we've got a sheet metal chassis, acrylic sides so you can see inside, and all the electronics mounted on the back. But these are pink oyster mushrooms, but you can grow a variety of different kinds of mushrooms uh, depending on the kind of conditions you need to maintain. Um, these are warm weather varieties, so you can actually grow them in really warm temperatures. Some of the challenges we've had is keeping the humidity really high in here. So mushrooms need like 90 to 100% relative humidity. That's actually why we have these clamps on here, is to make absolutely sure that this door is fully closed and we can't get uh, room air to sneak in there and, and drop our relative humidity. Originally, we had an ultrasonic humidifier in the base of this. It, it really made it, it made it hard to see in there. The water kind of got rancid, it was really gross. So we've actually changed the way we humidify the chamber now, so it's a lot cleaner, a lot simpler, but we can still keep a really high relative humidity. Our next iteration is gonna make some changes to how the, the whole chamber humidifies and where the airflow paths are. Uh, but it's gonna look pretty similar to this. Some other cool features we might be including in the future are a little, a little water fill port up here. One of the interesting things is that as this uses water to humidify the chamber, you have to be able to replace that water or else your mushrooms might dry out. So we'll be making another prototype in the coming weeks. It'll have a few more bells and whistles and a few more features. Be sure to check it out in the second video. What's the mushroom grower called, Danny? The mold box. <laughs> the shroom room. Ooh. The shroom shrine. What's your, what's your idea? The spawninator. <laughs> What do you call a mushroom that likes to party? I don't know what you call it. A fun guy. <laughs> Click the link below to become a Mushroom Insider and get exclusive updates on this project.